Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff A here, and today we are back with another video. This one is by Actually Happened. My parents catfished me to control me. Now, if this would have happened to me, all trust in my parents would be completely gone. Because that just says you don't trust me enough to just live my own life. That you always have to have an eye on seeing what I do. And sometimes, I need to make my own mistakes so I can learn from them, okay? I can't have a helicopter parent over my shoulder 24-7. Doing that would just destroy every single bit of trust I would have in you. Like, I would never tell you anything ever again. I would never talk to you again and just never just feel like I could trust you again, you know? But uh, let's, no more talking. Let's, let's hear the story and see how it goes and what excuse the parents might have. Three, two, one, let's react. Hello guys, I'm Madison. I know that the story I'm gonna tell you right now is really messed up. Stuff like this is yeah. far from normal, and both my parents and I are well aware of how terrible it all might sound. But this still happened. So it all started when I met a guy on Instagram. He liked some of my pictures and pretty soon DM'd me about a book I had mentioned in one of my posts. Talking to me about literature is the quick way to winning over my heart. I know this sounds funny, but it's true. So I replied and we started talking. His name was Sean. He was about my age. And he was cute. I just have to mention, there was no flirting coming from him throughout the whole story. He was just being nice. I was dropping hints, but he did not respond. It got me annoyed at the time, but now I feel relieved. Anyway, I had been telling him stuff about school, about my friends, about my family, just stuff I was up to. I was trying to keep it cute and smart. And here's what was going on between my parents and I at the time. You see, my family never really understood the concept of personal space. My parents always said that there should be no secrets in our family, that we should share everything, and that we should trust each other more than we trust anybody else. And sometimes in my life, this approach has helped me a lot. I always found support and comfort there. And I did not know it could be any other way either, since it's always been like this. But everything changed when I turned 14. I, was I thought that's at 74 all, for a I second. <laughs> what the heck? Place. I guess many of you might be able to relate to that. It was not about doing something behind closed doors. It was more about the feeling, the psychological space, I guess. I started to not share as much with my parents. And the most basic example, I started to close the door to my room, which was open 24-7 throughout my childhood. My parents would walk by or come in, and I had no problem with that. Until now. And my parents did not understand. We had multiple conversations really? about it. Not really fights, but these talks were not pleasant. I explained to them that I needed personal space, but they acted like these two words didn't exist in the English language. Phew, sorry, I'm getting off track. This has been bothering me for a long time already. Anyway, Sean and I started texting each other. He wouldn't reply immediately like most of my friends do. Sometimes it would take him hours. But I didn't care. He seemed so much like me. Everything he said was so accurate, like he knew exactly what to say to win my trust. I didn't even notice the moment I started telling him more about my life, since it usually takes me way more time to get close with someone. So it was going perfectly. He was living in another town and we never talked about meeting in real life, but I started to think about it constantly. And I know how crazy it sounds, but all of this happened within a week. Then he disappeared. Yeah, you heard that right. He just stopped texting me. He vanished. I was devastated. Am I that ugly and boring that it's just impossible to talk to me for more than a few days? I didn't see this coming at all. He didn't ever seem disappointed. The more I thought about it, the more complicated it got. I had never felt so bad in my life. I checked his account every day, but nothing was going on there. No new pictures, no stories, just nothing. And that could be a red flag. It's hard to get me out of this for my parents. They didn't force me to go to school, and they were so caring and tried to distract me. One day, both of them took the day off just for us to drive to the beach, which is not too far away from our town, and spend the day together. All day, I thought about how lucky I was to have parents like this. A little later, after some fresh air, I did feel a little better, so I decided to investigate. He only had a handful of followers, and this was the first time I had checked on who these people were. And they were just some spam accounts. And I have to mention that he only had a few pictures on his account. Hmm, and on second thought, they were pretty generic. Like a picture of a sunset, the book he texted me about. Not much, really. And don't judge me, That's a giant red flag! Existence, because when we talked... He sounded so, so real. These discoveries did not make me happier. 
Even if it was not about me, what kind of evil person would do something like that? I was drowning in my thoughts about it, but pretty soon everything became clear. That same day, my dad came home with a present. It was a very rare record player that I wanted for a very long time. This was the moment that I finally felt happy and I spent the whole evening in my room listening to music. We already had a few old ones that had been broken a long time ago, and this one was so expensive that I had not even thought about telling my parents I wanted it. It was that thought that struck me. There were hundreds oh, of record players no. out there, and my dad brought me exactly the one I dreamt of. Well, the only person who I sent the link to was... Sean. The whole puzzle seemed mm. to fall into place. I did not have any other evidence, but the mere thought of it was so shocking I got hysterical. I rushed to my parents' bedroom in tears, screaming. I woke them up and demanded an explanation. They listened to me sleepily. My mom started saying that it was just a coincidence that could easily happen. And my dad covered his face with his hands and screamed that it was all them. Well, this was going to be a long night. I started screaming that they were sick and that I didn't want to be their daughter anymore. They were just miserable. At one moment, I felt so exhausted that I just sat down on the floor and covered my face in my hands. That was when they started talking. So the story was that when my approach to personal space had changed, they panicked. They couldn't understand what was going on, so they imagined the worst. Like there was something I needed to hide, something terrible, of course. And I still can't believe it, but they had this plan. Creating a fake account and texting me on behalf of another teenager. You know the rest. Over that week, they continued to feel worse and worse. They felt ashamed and disgusted. As my dad told me later, they didn't think it would be that terrible when they started it. So the only way out that they could think of was to stop texting and disappear. And then, when they saw how bad I felt, they tried to correct their own mistakes, but it didn't get better. The record player was an act of desperation. Dad did not know it was so hard to find, so he didn't assume that it would be that easy to guess. After I found all of this out, I did not speak to them for several days. I would just come home to sleep while I was looking for moving options. But after all, they were really sorry and they realized pretty quickly that it was a mistake. And all of us make mistakes. I think this story changed their view on a lot of things, and now we are fine. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If any weird fake account stories ever happened to you, please share them in the comments. And subscribe to Actually Happened for more videos. Okay, so I don't want to get this out of the way. The same thing happened to me. Not with my parents, but with a, with a friggin' catfish, okay? I actually have a few catfishing stories, but I'll get to them later. But this is one that with a similar experience. I was, what, uh, 13, 14 years old? Uh, probably the same age as her. Uh, I, I get a message on Facebook. It's this uh, really cute girl saying, hey, how's it going? I think you're pretty cute. She was just straightforward. And I was like, oh, wow, thanks. Uh, I think you're pretty cute, too, since I was young and idiot and wanted a girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, we ended up uh, talking back and forth, and the next day I went to school and I'm telling my friends about this, like, hey, dude, I'm texting this really cute girl on Facebook, <laughs> and they just check it out. They're like, oh, wow, cool. Man, let's go to her profile and see more, see more about her. So we do that, <laughs> and they see, wow, there's not a lot of photos on here, and she's not following a lot of people, and not a lot of people are following her. There's something a little strange here, and me didn't want to believe it. <laughs> For some reason, said, what are you talking about? You're just jealous. And I'm like, listen, dude. They were just, they were, gonna, they were sending me straight. Like, listen, you, you, you're a decent looking guy, but let's be real here. A girl out of nowhere that you don't know texted you or messaged you saying, hey, I think you're cute. And there's little to nothing on her profile. It could be a little sketchy. Like, oh, no, you guys are just jealous. And they're just doing everything they can. Like, listen, dude. Listen, we're just trying to, like, just, like, we're just saying things are looking fishy. And it's like, all right, you know what? I'll prove it to you. I'll, 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 I'll message her right now. Uh, so I ended up uh, messaging her. They were with me. Uh, we were, we messaged her at that time. And uh, saying, hey, uh, I think you're a catfish because I'm looking at your profile and there's little to nothing there, you know, just, just throwing the facts that they threw me. And after what, a couple of years, still no response back. So after that, I was depressed, a, a little depressed. They were like, hey, yeah, sorry, man, this stuff happens. Happened to me too, you know? They, they were just doing everything they can to help me out and they were awesome. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, it could have went dangerous, but luckily they caught it in time. And I, it, it, it was just, yeah. And I still get that now on Instagram. There's some accounts that uh, message me saying, hey, how's it going with a bunch of hearts. And I look at the profile. All right, no pictures, uh, little followers. Only one, only picture they have is their profile. Red flag. So I just like immediately ignore them. So at least I learned something from it. But yeah, with her situation, I don't know if I'll be able to trust my parents again after that. Because they, the, let's, let's be honest here, they messed up. They messed up. And it would be extremely difficult to earn back that trust that they have just lost. Uh, for me, it would have been, I'm guessing, would have taken about, what, a couple months for every for things to go back to normal and then and then things will still be on edge for me i'll just never tell them anything and just keep to myself at all times because i'm not gonna lie i i know what kind of person i am i know when someone tricks me or lies to me i cut them out of my life completely and since them being my parents it's gonna be a little difficult cutting them out of my life <laughs> especially at a young age but yeah, lucky me, they never done that. And yeah, I, I, I trust and love my parents with all my heart. <sighs> all right, I think that's it for today's video. If you guys want to see the original video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you have any reaction requests, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And yeah, later.